So German restaurants in Chicago have slowly been fading away over the years. Places like Zum Dochinek and the Chicago Brew House are but a distant memory at this point. But our Hungry Hound says a new German-themed restaurant in West Town has lightened up those heavy traditional dishes, even bringing in some Midwestern and Southern influences. Steve Delinsky is here with a taste. Hey guys, yeah, forget the heavy schnitzels and massive pork chops covered in gravy. At Funkenhausen, those dishes are treated with a bit more refinement and a lighter touch. The portions are just about perfect. The wine list offers impressive German wines and the mood is less umpa and more ooh. There are no polka bands here or servers dressed in lederhosen. That's because the mood at Funkenhausen on a rapidly changing stretch of Chicago Avenue in West Town is more about updating the classics than it is sticking to tradition. I grew up in the South, but my family is very German. Uh, so we're uh, inspired by German food that I grew up with, but also by the Southern food I grew up enjoying with friends. I think people will stop going to like, the old German restaurants because they were so heavy. Stoyer loves sausage though, so he created a piggy plate with an assortment of liver mousse, pate, and mustard with plenty of fruit preserves and vinegary pickled vegetables to cut through that richness. Spätzle is of course a part of the menu, but instead of drowning it in butter, he adds a Midwestern bounty of onions, corn, and sliced radishes then dresses it in a red wine mustard vinaigrette. A few shards of Pecorino Romano and crushed candied walnuts add salty sharpness and crunch. They make their own ricotta cheese here, stuffed into plump dumplings that are sautéed with a forest of red onions, various cauliflowers, and oyster mushrooms, plus bright gooseberries and bulk kielbasa sausage. While those flavors come together, Stoyer adds a few ladlefuls of chicken stock combined with the whey left over from the cheese making. Talk about perfect pairings, a large assortment of German beers and crisp Rieslings are just waiting to be matched with these dishes. Our bottle list is almost all, uh, it's called Deutsch Sprachige, it means German speaking. So there's areas of uh, Italy and the Alps where they still speak German, um, obviously Switzerland, uh, Austria, and then Alsace in France, they still speak German there. So our, our list is mostly made up of those areas. And of course, there is schnitzel, just not the kind you remember. Traditionally, they would use veal shoulder and uh, cut it on a slicer into, into thin steaks. We actually use the loin because uh, the shoulder tends to get a little gray and dry. So we're using a, a little pricier cut of meat. Top with a mayo-style egg and mustard sauce with capers, cukes, and parsley called a gribiche. Stoyer adds a brightly acidic salad with raw vegetables to cut through the richness. I think what we're doing is taking things that, uh, that are German that inspire us, lightening them up and showing people that it doesn't have to be a heavy sausage, you know, it, it doesn't have to be a brown sauce. Yeah, definitely a little bit lighter, brought you a couple of my favorites. So we mentioned the spätzle, which changes actually as a blue plate spätzle, and you're having the spätzle right here, and they make it from scratch. Oh, and wow. it's got some mushroom ragu in this case, because we're getting into fall. There's some Parmesan cheese and chives and breadcrumbs, and um, it's got a little bit of a, a must vinaigrette on top. Mm. Just really delicious and light. Over here, vice versa, they make the mm. sausage in-house. Uh, very important, and there's some Granny Smith apples and a frisé salad. And this bread pudding down here with the Cipollini onions, this is from the pretzels, which are, if they're day old, oh, make nice. but the pretzels are over here when they're fresh. And they do too. an Alabama white sauce and a pimento cheese because Mark again is from the south. Right. And so he brings that southern flair into it. And I think with pretzels and the pimento cheese and the Alabama white sauce, it does go very well. So that's a great combination. Fantastic. But definitely German with a lighter touch. Yes. Yeah, you can great. totally tell, even the first bite. I'm glad. So much So light. flavorful, too. And, and hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.